when I turned 50 earlier, um, my family wanted to know what I wanted for my birthday. And what I did was I essentially spent the night, in, the, the evening I should say, at an armory in, in Fullerton. And I took my kids with me because, you know, as I counted my blessings, you know, what, what else can I ask for on my birthday? A nice dinner? What about showing my children what life is really about for many individuals? And if there's a message that I want to leave with you today, it's that if we really want to attack, and I mean that attack this challenge, this problem, children homeless in our society, we have to wake up politically and say we can't tolerate this. And these are the kind of events that we need to spread the word and let people know that we're not going to tolerate this. And we can ideologically go off and say, this is why it happened, this is why it should not happen, but we can't let the argument stop there. We have to take that next step. And, you know, this is one of my passions, not because it feels good to do it politically, but because I can't live with myself as I see those homeless kids out there. But when I go home and I sleep in a nice, comfortable bed, I know there's a kid out there that isn't. I remember going to one of these uh, shelters, a school for the homeless in the city of Orange, at a church, and talking to the teacher and saying, these kids, we pick them up, they're here at 8 in the morning, after 2 o'clock, I ask, where do they go? They didn't know where these kids went. All they knew was they were where they could pick them up the next morning. That's a sad testament to our society and to us. So I ask you to please make sure you take the next step, which is make sure you let people know and let's do something about this problem.